Bertha, lovely Bertha, you are a lovely machine, and anyone who works with you will know just what I mean. Whoa, Bertha, lovely Bertha, sometimes I think you're a dream, but when we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out, we can depend upon you. Clicking in the day, flashing in the night, your computer is shining brightly. Some people say you have a mind of your own, and I think that's very likely, likely. Oh, Bertha, lovely Bertha, sometimes I think you're a dream. But when we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out, we can depend upon you. This week at Spotty's Wooden Company, Bertha is making humming tops. Roy and Tom, the little robot, are having trouble keeping up with her. Whoops! Hey, Ted! Bertha's making the tops so fast we can't keep up with her. Can you slow her down? No, I'm sorry, I can't. You'll have to think of a quicker way of packing them. I wish I could. I'm working as fast as I can. I have an idea, Ted. <laughs> well done, Roy. This is a jolly good idea, don't you think so, Ted? A very good idea, Roy. A good way to pack humming tops. I'll be tickled. <laughs> Being tickled? The top is still spinning inside the box. That's what's tickling me. <laughs> this makes stacking fun. <laughs> there are two very helpful ladies in the packaging department. They pack the orders through. They know just what to do. And these hard-working ladies in the packaging department sing their own little song as it helps their work along. Packing and stacking, no, we don't believe in slacking. We're now and flow, and we're always on the go. Packing and stacking, no, we don't believe in slacking. Working ladies in the packaging department with their own sense of fun. They bang the labels on. They know that what they do will always help the business through with their own little song. As it helps their work along. Packing and stacking, no, we don't believe in slacking. Ted, this one isn't right. Try it again, Roy. It doesn't work properly. I can't pack that one. I can't stack that one. It's not quite the right shape. That's why it won't spin. Put it to one side, Roy. I have to make a few adjustments to Bertha. Try that one, Roy. Eh? 
That's a good one, Ted. Mr. Duncan, the works foreman, doesn't look too pleased. He hasn't seen humming tops packed this way before. What's going on here? Roy's discovered a quick way of packing the tops, Mr. Duncan. So I see. I am not sure that I approve. It looks more like clay to me. But this way I test them at the same time to make sure that they're all right. Before I pack them. Before I stack them. Oh dear! It's the tops. They're still spinning in the boxes. This was your bright idea, was it, Roy? At least it shows that Bertha is making jolly good tops if they go on spinning all this time. Let's hope they stop spinning before they get to the shops. I hope flowers not hurt. <laughs> I've been tickled all over. Upstairs in the office, Miss McCackerty is hard at work typing. Yes, Mr. Wilmick. Uh, ask Mr. Sprott to come and see me, please. Yes, sir. Hello, Design Office. Very well, Miss McClackety. I'll tell him. Mr. Wilmate would like to see you, Mr. Sprott. Ah, thank you, Tracy. I'll go right away. Ah! Oh! Oh, my eyes have gone all funny. Tracy, can you see my glasses anywhere? Where did you lose them, Mr. Sprott? Since when did you start wearing glasses, Tracy? I don't, Mr. Sprott. They must be yours. Thank you. And do try to keep the office a bit more tidy, will you? Eleven o'clock. Time for a tea break, Miss McClackety. Oh, good. I'll give Mr. Wilmake a buzz. The tea is here, sir. Thank you. I'll be right out. I've got some fresh currant buns or doughnuts, or if you prefer, some nice cucumber sandwiches. Good morning, Mrs. Tamp. I'll just have a cup of tea, please. Ah, Mr. Sprott, just in time for a cup of tea. Here you are, then. That's another two teas. Thank you, Mrs. Tarp. Now, where is that competition form that arrived this morning, Miss McClackety? Here it is, sir. This letter's from a big overseas buyer. They would like us to enter a competition to make the most unusual toy. Hmm. Yes, yes, I see. And you would like me to design something that would win this competition. Yes. If we won it, it would mean a lot of orders for the factory. Right. I'll get onto it straight away. In the dispatch department, Panjid is having trouble with his forklift truck. Did you come to see me for something special? Yes, we've finished making the humming tops. Can you come and collect them? I will be along soon shortly, when I've repaired my truck. What's gone wrong with it? I don't know, but it will only go backwards. Hmm, looks very complicated. Sorry I can't help you, Panjit. Do not worry. I have thought of a way of making it work for today. Tomorrow, I will repair it properly. Mr. Sprott and Tracy are showing the manager the drawings of the new toy they've designed to win the competition. It's a walking, dancing, musical doll. Wonderful. You're very clever, Mr. Sprott. Thank you, sir. I think this will win the competition. I hope so. Uh, which machine shall we use to make the doll? Bertha, of course. She's the best machine in the factory.
You see, Roy, I have borrowed the big mirror from the factory washroom. This will allow me to drive backwards for today. Tomorrow, I will have time to repair the machine. Ted, Mr. Sprott has designed a new toy we want to enter in a competition. Can you program Bertha to make it? All right, Bertha, don't get excited. You can't give this important job to Bertha. And why not? The new super bumper and presser machine will make a much better job of it. Be quiet, Bertha. Now you've upset her. I don't care. As the foreman in the factory, I say that the new toy should be made on a modern, up-to-date machine. Yes, I suppose I must agree with Mr. Duncan. Come along, we'll put it on the new machine. That new machine isn't better than Bertha, Ted. Are these the last boxes of humming tops? Bertha is making nothing more today. Those are the last boxes. Right. Off I go then. Bertha is making something more today. What are you doing, Ted? Mr. Sprott left me the design for the new toy. I'm sure I could get Bertha to make a better doll than the new super bumper and presser machine. I bet she could. Like a nice cup of tea? Not now, thank you, Mrs. Tap. We're busy. Nobody seems to want their tea this morning. Where is everybody? They're all around that new machine, waiting for the new doll to be made. Come on, let's go and have a look. There you are, Bertha. Show them that you're the best machine. Everyone is gathered around the new super bumper and presser machine, waiting to see the new toy. Well done, Mr. Sprott. This should win us the competition. I'll set it dancing again. Oh dear, that has been badly made. I'm sure my calculations were right. Nice try, Mr. Sprott. Perhaps we should have used Bertha after all. Are you, Mr. Duncan? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Don't worry, we did. Come and see what Bertha has made of your design, Mr. Sprott. Well, I never. It is wonderful. I knew that design would work. Only if it was made by the best machine. Good old Bertha.